Now today I'm going to talk about the kind of PMP questions you can expect in the exam. So let's get started. Let's read the first question. I'm going to give you some time to read it. So all eyes are on your screen. So ground rules, um, whose responsibility is it to establish and enforce ground rules? Is it the project manager or project team members or HR team or functional manager? So if you, first of all, you need to know what are ground rules. Um, these are the specific set of rules a team has to behave with. Um, in case you do not go via those rules, for example, in my team, the ground rule is we start the meeting on time. So let's say one of the team members comes late, then what would you do? We find him. And at the end, we, um, you know, at the end of the month, we collect all the fines and go for a party or something. So that, that's a ground rule which I had while I was working in one of the companies. So whose responsibility it is um, to establish the ground rules? If you would have said the project manager, that would have been wrong because um, the responsibility to establish all the ground rules is um, the team members. Specifically when we are in the age of um, the you know agile teams wherein the manpower is really skilled and they expect things to be driven through them, um, it, is, it becomes easier for the team to take decisions, to think about what are the rules they're going to go with, what are the rules they're going to enforce. So let the team uh, work on that. So this is the right answer. So let's move forward. Next question. In one-on-one -on -one communication process, the sender is the one who transmits the signal while the receiver dash the signal. So what is the task of receiver? Does he decode, encode, intercept, receive? So one, you need to know communication model for this. So what is your answer? Let's see. This is the communication model which you see on your screen. So we have a sender, sender encodes the message, sends it over some medium and the receiver decodes the message. Um, so you get your answer, the receiver needs to decode the message. If you have selected something else, then you need to read the communication model. The third question, your team is using planning poker and you are given some cards. What are the most likely values in the card? Now, to answer this question, you need to know what is planning poker and um, what you do with it. So just read through all the answers and give me the answer. So, um, if you would have said t-shirt sizes, probably that's wrong. Fibonacci series, one, two, these answers uh, probably could have been right. Let's look at the next ones. Odd numbers, no. Um, random number as per your team suggestion could be. But one of the best method is using Fibonacci series. Now, um, let's understand what is it. So planning poker is a time when the agile team uses it. We have something called product backlog. Um, and there is a release planning meeting or scrum planning meeting. So from here, the team, agile team selects the um, items which they can go and select and can release in the next sprint. So um, each team is, each, each item from the um, sprint backlog each item from the so what does how, how does um, the development team picks up the PBI item and select it for the upcoming sprint or iteration they look at each item which are high priority item that means items on the top of the product backlog uh, estimate as to how much efforts gonna be taken for uh, development of this item and then based on the velocity of the team, now that's a new word, velocity of the team, 
um, in case you don't know um, you need to read through more on the uh, agile development process so let's say the team has a capacity or velocity of 40 story points um, so based on that um, they would establish as to what is the likely estimate of this PBI item and then uh, they the team members gonna select um, and say okay this um, so for each item uh, the planning poker game is everybody each team member gonna estimate for each item and then um, so I would it's like this so I would tell them this is the item so what is the what is your estimation so each team member gonna tell me their estimation um, based on their estimation I would say okay this estimation we finalize the estimation in case there is a lot of variety in the card or estimation we discuss why there is a whole lot of variety somebody is saying it's gonna take uh, one story point and another person is saying it's gonna be 20 story point so it's so we discuss in case there is a whole lot of uh, a difference in the story point estimation else we say okay this is this looks like um, you know a story point which is 20 and then we say okay our velocity is this so how many items we're gonna take based on all of that we play this game um, so the correct answer is B the next question the following are example of deliverables except so what is a deliverable anything which you give to your customer or your internal team as well for example a project plan or a code could be a deliverable sometimes you give the code handover to the customer sometimes not um, so a deliverable could be internal or external so let's look at all the answers what is a deliverable or not this is understand this is an accept type of question um, so we need to find out true and false for this the planning team submit the project management plan so project management plan it's a document somebody worked on it it's a deliverable the software development team developed the application software application software is also somebody worked on it um, deliverable task A started a day late this is information about the project progress so this is not a deliverable project charter was created again a deliverable so out of this all the answers are right except answer number C if you have selected C then you know you got it right the last question you are working in healthcare industry your project is involved in producing an oral vaccine recently the government introduced a new legal regulation on the vaccine testing process this would have some impact how would you handle this now the options are ignore and continue working log it as a change log it as an issue or log it as a risk to understand to give this answer you need to understand what qualifies as a change what qualifies it as an issue what qualifies a risk now this is a regulation a regulation has to be always complied with so you, we need to go ahead and do it um, so this is an issue um, if you would have thought this is a risk risk is a future event which has a probability however this issue has happened it has it is a present thing uh, which I need to deal with so the answer if you have selected C that's the right answer all of these questions are taken from past PMP in 21 days study guide if you want to know more there are at least 700 questions like this along with descriptions rationale um, the concept clarification um, so in case and I've released this book very recently with the new updates there's a agile section which is um, the second chapter of the book um, and it lets you go through all the concept very easily one by one so that you can grasp them um, for details where to buy how to buy you can look at the kavitasharma.net this is me signing off thank you for staying with me kavita sharma bye bye